what have been some of your experiences with blended families, uh, single mothers, structure, discipline, all that good stuff? Um, it's a mixed bag, to be honest. I mean, you can get one of two extremes. You you can get um, what you see a lot of times is you see a lack of structure and discipline because a lot of times single parents got to fly by the seat of their pants. They, you know, sometimes they are overly involved in their child's life where they got them in every extracurricular activity. They like their schedule is really just based around always doing something with the kids. So there's no structure in other areas. Uh, or you have the one that is, you know, she's real loose with her relationship to where she's, the, you would think that the child is the, the grandparents child because they always leaving them with them. They always going out doing their things, still going out, uh, clubbing at night, things like that. Uh, like it's, it's I, I don't think being a, being a single mother is like inherently means that there's going to be structure and discipline. Cause it depends on how she was raised as well. She might've been raised in a house without any structure, without any discipline. I believe the men are the ones that are supposed to bring that element to it. And a lot of times they run into problems because when they do, finally get a man in their life they try to dis they they try to dictate what the structure and what the discipline is going to look like so you see a lot of men that have problems with disciplining the child with setting rules for the house for enforcing rules it's always like she's watching over everything he says how he says it what he's doing how close he is to the child so you don't you never really feel like you, you feel like you're almost like an outsider inside the relationship sometimes. So I don't think, um, I don't think there are inherent benefits to, um, to dating single women. I don't think it's, I mean, um, uh, women with children, I don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just, it depends on who the person is. So obviously it's subjective. I mean, and when you when you talk about I don't I don't think I touched on st structure when I went, but when when you talk about structure, if you want to add structure to a woman's life, it's gonna require you to spend some money. It's gonna it's gonna require you to break down some resources. So given that she already has structure, he can bypass that and get to the panties, which further strengthens my argument that it was for recreational use. But we can't just put one blanket over single moms to say that they all have structure or the women that aren't single moms don't have structure. It, it's objective. So it's important that every man touch on his experience. And I think that's typically what we're doing right now. Just touch on your experience of how it unfolded when you dated a single mom and yeah. see if we could uh, get an intersection that cross paths and see if we meet with, is, is there some consistent common things or common denominators between all of our, our experiences? I, I did date one long time ago. I think I was, I was in the military. Oh, uh, it's about, I think it was what, 15 years ago, maybe. Uh, uh, the experience was, it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I did see the the father uh, of the kid a lot. I, I guess that's a good thing. Some, some may say that's a bad thing, depending on how insecure you are as a man and selfish with the time and attention of the woman. Um, but other than that, it's just like dating any other of the girl, you know what I'm saying? Granted, you don't have to provide any resources, but when you talk about marriage, I think that's where the, the line is drawn. It's a whole different ball game, and that's when you start seeing the common uh, intersections between mo uh, dating single moms as a whole, where you can kind of throw a blanket on them. I know Sweeney is ready to go because he's a. Uh, I think he's the <laughs> champion for, for dating single moms. I, um, I, I've, I've done, I've dated both, of course. Um, and I, I would say it's a mix. I've, I've, I've been involved with some women that had no structure, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just chaos. And, uh, I've dated women that was with no kids and they had their shit together, you know, solid career, the whole shabam. I, I've even been involved with some women that with no kids and they was just out here free balling. They just kicking it every weekend, you know what I'm saying, type shit. So, uh, I mean, it, it it just varies, you know. And, and, and I think it depends on 
uh, where that man is at, at that time in his life. Cause it's some things you just not going to deal with and some things you will deal with. So when I was younger, shorty, that's just out here kicking it every weekend. Hell yeah. Shit. Let's pull up. You know what I'm saying? But as you get older, you know, for some men is no oh, shorty, you, and you drinking again, you know what I'm saying? You, man, you going well. So uh, I think it just varies. All right. Go ahead, Sweeney. Uh, <clears throat> I do have a quick question for the fellas. Um, how old were y'all when y'all got married? If you are married, how old are y'all? Uh, how old were y'all when y'all got married? And if you're not married, how old are you currently as a single man? I was 27 when I got married. 35, 34. Say, say how old you are, too. How, how old are you now? Oh, I'm 40. Um, I'll be 41 in September. Okay. I'm 40. I'm 56. Oh, hell. What about you, Trev? <laughs> uh, 27. And I'll be 45 in September. Okay. Um, to be real with y'all, I, but Trev, you say how old? I'll be forty-five September. Okay. No cap. <laughs> uh, Kenny, how old are you? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay. And uh, Hank, I can't remember exactly how old you were. Forty-eight. Okay. Um, hey man, I don't, I don't believe Kenny is fifty one. Honestly, I don't believe that Hank is forty eight. I think that nigga younger, bro. <laughs> but no, though, to be to be perfectly honest with y'all, um, I are you? I can't say that I have much dating experience as a fully grown man, if that makes sense. I've been with my wife since I was twenty one. And I was in college since 18 after that, before that. So most of my dating experience of dealing with women was between, you know, high school and, you know what I mean, 21 years old while I was in college. So the, the woman that I married was a single mother at the time at 21 years old. So I can't say that I've had any real experience like out there dating as a grown ass man, I can say that the woman that I dealt with, she was cool um, from what I've seen. You know what I mean? I was in, I, I was around pretty early. So, you know, she was, she was still a baby at the time. So I can't really speak to what structure she really had. Um, pretty much when we moved in together, we were, you know what I mean? Whatever, I was able to do whatever any normal parent would be able to do. So, I can't say that I can accurately answer this question because I don't know. All I can do is base it off of what y'all experiences had, what what kind of experiences y'all had, because being there's a difference between getting with someone at 21 or or dating at 21 or and then being out there and dating between the ages of 24 to 35 or to 40 and things like that there's a whole different world of experiences that that comes with that because you deal with a totally different group of women they're they're far more they could be far more demanding they mindset they their expectations are different like i was dealing with college girls you know they ain't had no damn expectations you, you know what i mean you come to the dorm room with a bottle of crown, uh not crown with a bottle of fucking enj and they was going so <laughs> So, <laughs> so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Winnie. Based on, uh, like today's standards, and you talk to, you know, hundreds of people, right? Okay. You talk to a lot of people, and just based on their experiences, if you had to advise your son, right, or any other brother who would come to you and ask you if it's a great idea or not, would you say that they would be better off searching for a woman who doesn't have children yet, or should they just take that on? Just based on the experience that you hear, gripes that may have or don't have or pleasant experiences that you hear about. If you had to solely 
based off of the experiences that you've heard from individual uh, in the current dating market, would you suggest to a younger person? I would say that based on it, men who already have children tend to have be a little more open minded, so they tend to have slightly better experience, but it hasn't been great. From the men that I spoke to, they have not had the best of experiences with women who've had children. And, you know, granted, when you talk to women who have children, they all sound normal at first, but I'm not dating them. I'm just talking to them as a person from the outside and everything sounds good when you're talking about yourself. But when you talk to the opposite sex or you talk to the men that deal with them, they have not had the best experiences. So if I was talking to my son, I probably would be like, I don't think it'd be best for you, especially as a man with no children, to deal with a single mother, unless you really give a shit about that woman. Like you have to really like that woman for you to take on that. Because I think the 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 bruiser kind of spoke to this because there, there there used to be a time where being a stepfather was revered. It was something that, you know what I mean? It was something that men understood and it wasn't, but now it's not, and I'm not even saying by other men, but the women used to appreciate the men that they were with. But now it's almost as if it's an expectation that, oh, well, because I have children, you need to be this, 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 and this. And even if you come in as a man, it, they they do tend to have the experiences of you can walk away from me at any time and then you take the kid away from me. Or I don't get the level of respect in the household that I should get because you think that because I'm not that child's father that I don't deserve, I don't, I don't have the same rights that you do, even though I'm still taking care of them like you do. So, and then the dealing with the other father issues, I've heard that. There's a lot of difficulty with dealing with single mothers that's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a good bet. All right. Just so everybody know, man, I'm not 56, I'm 41. For the record. <laughs> Appreciate that, because I was I was sold on the, the Beijing guy <laughs> here if he was fit in your 50s. <laughs> yeah. Um, where to go to you, Kenny P. What are your thoughts about it, sir? You using uh, the initial using Ocho Cinco to start the conversation. That's one of the worst people that you could use. Eight children, seven different baby mamas giving you advice about <laughs> finding stability with uh, a baby mom. I've dated a baby mom when I was 26. <clears throat> That's when I made the transition from messing with uh, the tender love girls to an experienced woman that know how to uh, do things to you that the others didn't, that know how to cook a hot plate for you. you. You didn't pay attention. You were young and dumb and didn't look long. You were just reactive because she knew how to please you, put a plate on the table and you, you would like say hi to the kids, but you would just keep it moving because you were dead set on getting that comfort. But then it came a point in time as time went on you would say, hey, you shouldn't do that. You ain't my daddy. And I'm like, oh, I'm a little too young for all of this. And then one day I meet the pops. And he sized me up. I size him up. It's a bad bet most of the time when you entertain that. Coming into a situation, being a single man, you're eating the cost of someone else's bad decision. And I don't think that that would be the best thing for working out long-term. The percentages are low that you'll find someone that just got a bad beat with men. This is not a Tyler Perry movie where you'll awaken a woman and you know she has a purpose and she just needs to cleave to a man that would love her and you know all the kids will fall in line and you know flowers will come out the air. Nah, that's for fairy tales. And at 51, I've done 
took in many lumps. You could look in the back of my head. I still got some. Baby mother number two. Think I'd learn. I thought I would get the same thing. I still got a mark on my lip right here from when I tried <laughs> to put her out and she showed me something different. Lie. <laughs> you understand that? But to, to land a plane real quick, nah. It's a bad beat. It's not, it's not feasible. You may find an anomaly, but that'll be the exception to the norm. Go ahead, brother Hank. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest in all of these cats up her line talking about they wouldn't date no baby mama. I'll marry them either. They lying and got them ass off. Let that right <laughs> baby mama. Let that right baby mama come their way. These dudes are wifing the shit out of them. <laughs> Bring them in, put them in the living wheel, signing the, the deeds of the house over and every goddamn thing. Y'all know y'all will. Y'all need to stop this bullshit ass YouTube line y'all doing up there. Shout out to <laughs> Age, shout out to my brother Jr. Um, let me say this: I've been a father ever since I was twenty. My uh, my daughter uh, was born when I was twenty. So, do I have a lot of experience of dating women without kids? Uh, as I what we consider adult age, no, not a lot. I have dated some, even though I had a kid. Uh, without kids, uh, their structure is like like Ojo Cinco said. It's limited to none because they don't have anything. The only structure they have is uh, they probably, uh, <laughs> other than going to work, there's no structure for, for, for most of them. Other than going to work, the most of them that I've seen, I had to act with, they had none. I mean, the house was in chaos. They just moved. I mean, no no type of plans. They had no type of budget. They, uh, as far as the schedule, it was all over the place. You, you know, nothing wasn't set in stone. You, you you could never get them locked down on anything. I still deal with uh, uh, adults, women with, with no kids, because my son is a, a young adult. My daughter, well, she's married now, but some of her friends are young adults. I interact with them. I talk to them. When I have a cookout, I say, come over. We have conversations and just see how they move, how they act. I ask them to bring something to the cookout. These motherfuckers forgot what I told them. Now, maybe because they high. I don't know what it is. So then they got to run out to the store and go get it. Man, I put it in a, in, a, in a text message, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. But as far as me, well, I date a woman with kids. Yeah, I have. As a man with, with kids, I, I prefer to date a woman with kids because they already understand what it is to have a child. You know, saying my schedule is limited. I, I can only do certain things or, 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 or do certain things at certain times because I have a child. I have responsibilities. So with a woman who has kids, I already knows that understanding. We can respect each other's time and energy. And, and there's not a, much of a high demand when you deal with a woman kids and when you have kids too. Um, as far as like right now, the lady I, I, I'm, I'm in a relationship with, she has an older kids. All the kids, uh, uh, her, her oldest is twenty. Her youngest is sixteen, and that's perfect for me, because now they're they're in, they're at that age they could independently move on their own. They're off to college. Two of them off to college. So it it, it works well for me. I'm I'm okay with it now. If I had like a, I think the question was you had for uh, I don't know if it was what I think Sweeney. Would I recommend my son? No, I wouldn't tell my son to date a woman with kids. No, because you don't have kids, buddy. Now, if you had to, if you had a child, I would say, man, you you might want to get a woman with kids, man. These women without kids in, in, in your, your era, yeah, they're they going to demand a whole lot. You got to uh, move a different way, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with a woman with kids. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not... I don't, I don't have any issues with uh, the baby fathers. Uh, matter of fact, when I we uh, took her kids to uh, her, her uh, ex husband, met them in Arkansas. The man told me, "Thank you, thank you for bringing his kids safe and sound." You know, what I'm saying we shook hands and that was it. It wasn't no animosity, no n nothing going on. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't believe in that. We two men. Now, if you, you mad because with your ex wife? you need to get over that shit 
I mean, you know, move on. You know, y'all didn't work out. It's it's, it's loss. My game. But I landed there. <laughs>